Hi friends, now the finally the SOP for us to go back home to visit our family on short visit and to come here back for work. The much waited SOP is now finally out. But I believe there are much more confusion around this SOP and I thought of doing this video because more of my friends and viewers have been requesting for a clear picture and time to time I have even been updating my video uh, my updates on the SOPs I have been giving screenshot from the Malaysian immigration website from the Singapore website I have been posting these images in the WhatsApp groups which I have and in the Facebook pages which I have been using and I have been receiving much thanks and much questions and queries from those viewers and I have been explain, explaining to them one by one. Okay, now I thought of doing this video. Okay, uh, first is the category one. Category one is the reciprocated green lane, RGL. This is mostly for business purposes, for businessmen, company managers, managing directors, etc. We don't fall under this category one, so let's skip that. I can do a separate video if you require one. Okay, now come to the category 2, which is the periodic commuting arrangement, PCA, which is for the workers, Malaysian workers working in Singapore. You could be employment pass, S pass, or you could be any pass, but only for Malaysian citizens who are not a Singapore PR. If Singapore PR, you don't fall under this category, okay? So for these workers, Malaysian workers holding any kind of employment pass in Singapore, you can visit your home for a short home visit um, and then you can be back to Singapore. Once you are back to Singapore, you have to stay here for 90 days before you could plan your next visit. And same for Singapore citizens and Singapore PR who are working in Malaysia vice versa the same you can come to singapore you can stay here for a short home visit and then you can go back to malaysia for work up to 90 days i think most of us are not in the category we fall under the malaysian citizens working in singapore okay the thing is starting from august 17 the pca starts periodic commuting arrangement the application for us to enter malaysia is very easy you can just go anytime because we are Malaysian citizens no one is stopping us you just need to um, you even don't need to apply anything in the the my Malaysia pass or whatever it is you just need to download the my Sajatra app and you can just need to go before you can go you just need to inform your company to give you any release letter if they have to give you if since you're going to leave the country okay the only application you need to do is while entering back to Singapore and the application you cannot do, your employer have to do it because they need a corporate pass to do it. The corporate pass is something like Singh Pass, it's for a corporate, the HR or human capital. They will use the corporate pass to apply to MOM or ICA, okay. Using the corporate pass, they need to apply for us the application, the PC application for our entry. You can, the company can do this minimum seven days before our arrival and maximum up to 60 days it means you plan to if you are planning to visit home you can always go but if you want to make sure that your entry is secure you can ask your hr or human capital to do the application before you even leave singapore uh, so when they do the application maximum they can do it before Two months you can choose a date in the two months window before you could come and when they do the application uh, you also need to pay for the swap test swap test is two hundred dollar swap test and you also need to secure um, accommodation for your stay home accommodation the stay home accommodation is uh, minimum seven days seven days in singapore minimum seven days until the test results are out if the test results are negative you are released you can go back to work if the test results are positive then you will be move on to a government facility and you will go through all the health protocol for a positive patient okay why i'm asking you to get this application done before you could leave malaysia is is to secure your job let's say you go back to malaysia first and then you ask your company to apply your company can always say 
we are we have already applied we are waiting for the reply but you won't know whether they applied or not then after your leave is finished then you'll be forced to continue with your no pay leave but if you could ask your company to apply secure aid you got application form the proof of it your arrival date is secured even when you go you can just come you can uh, you can be confident that your entry into Singapore is secured. That's why I'm asking you to ask your company to apply, get it done, get a secured arrival date before you could leave Singapore. Okay, once this is done, when you leave to Malaysia, once you go to Malaysia, then you need to download the MySetatra app. Okay, and then once you go, you will go through their or uh, you will go through their immigration clearance and over there they will serve you modified home surveillance order. Last time they had home surveillance, surveillance order HSO and which many have flouted it, they didn't properly follow it. So now they have a modified home surveillance order, which is basically a home quarantine but with more security features, which you cannot cheat them. Minimum 7 days. Why is the minimum 7 days is, okay, under this PCA, up to 2000 workers can go back to home, Malaysia and the test results are not on the spot if they want to wait for the test results it's going to take us take some time that's why they ask you to go to your home modified home surveillance order you will stay in your home for minimum seven days until the test results are out and the test results should be negative if it is negative you are exempted from the 14 days quarantine you are released if it is positive same you will be moved to a government facility and you will be they will be starting the treatment for positive for a positive patient as per their protocol. Okay, so after the seven days minimum home stay is finished, the test results are negative. You are free. You can go wherever you want to go. You can go. Okay, before you go, when you submit the when okay before you go at the immigration, they will ask you your itinerary where you are going to visit in Malaysia, where is your accommodation, they will get all the detail. Like if you are going to visit anywhere, you still need to inform them beforehand. But once your home stay 7 days is finished and your test is negative, you are a free bird. Okay. The same thing applies here, when you are back to Singapore, uh, you can come in your personal transport, you can use your motorbike, you can come in a bus filled with Malaysian workers coming back who are going to serve the stay home notice. But you cannot come in a public transport. You can come in a shuttle bus with the Malaysian workers going to serve their stay home notice. Or you can always come in your personal transport, which is a motorbike. Okay. So once you are cleared the immigration in Singapore, the process everything finished, then they will ask they will ask you to download all the apps required. Then they will ask you to go directly to the stay home accommodation without any stop. You can use your motorbike. You can go to the hotel. Okay, the stay home accommodation in Singapore, it cannot be a HDB block, it cannot be a rental room. It can be a hotel, it can be a service apartment. The service apartment you can share with four people. The four people should be the same applicant in the same application form arriving into Singapore on the same day. So basically it should be your colleague because since only your company can apply right, you can find two people or three people or four people, ask your HR to apply together in the same application form. So service, ac service accommodation, it could be a service apartment, if you share with four people or three people, you can share the burden, you can share the cost. Or if you want to stay alone, you can also find a budget hotel. Uh, before booking any budget hotel, you can always check with the immigration whether this budget hotel is allowed or not because they do have certain criteria that well, this hotels or these hotels can or cannot. Okay, but definitely a HDB block or HDB rental room cannot. Okay, so your com your company, your employer need to provide all the detail of the your accommodation and your transport detail and how are they going to deliver the food to you all these facts your company need to provide when they apply for the PCA okay uh, the same once the test results are out once it's negative you can resume work you can go back to work I think I have covered everything if you have any doubt you can put in the comment box and you can subscribe you can subscribe to my channel you can click the bell button I have other useful videos too and 
if you need a tamil version i can do a tamil version for us okay thank you